Welcome back, people. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're making my apple cinnamon as well as my dark chocolate chip pancake recipes. Both are just as fluffy and this makes about 15 small round pancakes perfect for just a few people. Let's start with the apple cinnamon pancakes. So onto the fun part, let's get started with getting these bad boys cooking. I'm starting with just a little, with smearing just a little bit of butter on the hot pan. Um, you can use oil as a replacement if you prefer, but I believe the buttery texture kind of just leaves a better taste to these pancakes. And just when that pan is heated just enough, I add about an eighth cup of batter for each cake. I try not to overflow because these cakes will grow. So once five minutes or so on medium-high heat has passed, you're gonna go ahead and flip those pancakes once you see those holes appearing on the top there. You're gonna cook it another five minutes and your pancakes should be done. Now this is a great way to get rid of some old apples if you don't plan on eating them or if they're just not good to eat or if you simply just wanna try something a little healthier without going for the package brand. Delicious. So we're finishing up this video to save the best for last because they're my favorite dark chocolate chip pancake. Just following the same instruction as we did for the apple cinnamon pancakes, we're just going to add a little bit of butter to this pan on a medium high heat. And we're just gonna cook the pancakes about five minutes or so each side until they're thoroughly cooked or until you get the, uh, basically the color that you desire of your pancake. And here it is, this deliciousness. Now you're definitely in for a sweet tooth with this uh, chocolate chip recipe, but it's definitely worth the sugar shock in my opinion, it's my favorite. But I hope you enjoy it and try them, try them with the kids, try them with the family, make it a family event. Thanks for watching, so if you like what you saw, please hit like and subscribe so that you can receive constant updates on when I'm uploading my next uh, short and sweet and straight to the point recipes. So I'll see you soon, bye.